all of our best holiday songs were written by people and now AI is learning to write cr uh, Christmas and holiday songs and they are less good. So researchers in Toronto are using something called neural karaoke um, to teach AI to write songs that speak to the human soul about the holidays. And what's cool is they would teach the AI to be able to write a song based on images they would see, like a Christmas tree, holiday decorations, uh, presents, various elements that we associate with the holiday season. But what, what could... What could possibly go wrong there? I mean, we've done before a story about a, a robot doing stand-up comedy and it didn't go well. Um, so <laughs> I guess I'll talk about it later. Here is a song written and sung by an AI based on the image that you will see also on the screen. present in the world is a blessing. I'm always in there for the rest of our lives. A hundred and a half hour of the I am glad to meet you. I can hear the music coming from the Christmas tree. There are lots and lots and lots of flowers. Yeah! Wow. Look out, Mariah Carey, your number's up. <laughs> Still better than that Friday, Friday song. Uh... <laughs> I, that's really, that's kind of frightening, actually. I mean, I, I know that the whole, the whole point of technology <laughs> is to push AI further and further into areas that, that maybe it might not be ready mm -hmm. for, but wow, that is, uh, that's frightening. So this is the result of the work of um, two PhD research uh, candidates. Uh, one is an assistant professor of computer science, uh, Hang Chu. He put in 100 hours of online music to the computer to teach it to uh, write lyrics and compose melodies and uh, that's the result of it. Maybe 200 hours would be good. Um, it's really stupid. <laughs> I, I don't know where they got flowers. I don't know. I, I see mean, the flowers. Yeah, there but... are lots and lots and lots of flowers. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's really, I mean, maybe because it's based on uh, not only the, the music that's been uploaded, but also that visual image. Mm -hmm. so. so I guess they got ornaments as flowers I don't know and the, 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 the it's particularly in the middle the lyrics go really off the rails which are I have been waiting forever which <laughs> is an hour and a half I see the hall I hear the music in the hall I'm going off memory you can maybe it it's not that far off I'm pretty sure I mean maybe it's some kind of coded message for us, oh, okay. maybe the AI is trying oh, to. Oh, someone's been watching Westworld. Tell us something. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, it's learning, so it can eventually learn how to defeat us. <laughs> uh, it's it's not there yet. I think you still need um, someone with a poetic soul or a basic understanding of what humans like uh, to compose our holiday smash hit songs. Now, you see. That's the thing, though. I'm I'm often asked mm -hmm. um, specifically to do interviews in the context of AI and AI taking our jobs. I think that's a fear a lot of people have, but I don't think it's very realistic, at least for the current stage of uh, research. It's not realistic. It's realistic for certain types of jobs, like if you're uh, filling prescriptions or or parts orders for shipping, mm -hmm. but creative endeavors like writing music. Stand-up comedy. <laughs> Stand-up comedy. Those are things 
that that the computers have a little bit more difficulty with. Yeah, I mean it's a subtle subtlety thing, and even sometimes it's a cultural thing where we'll have different uh, even ways of delivering jokes that would l either you know either fall flat or go turn out great. It's there's a lot of intricate details to the human experience that maybe we can't really translate so far as to teach it to something that doesn't have that experience. You know what it strikes me is that this is like a song that a, a three-year-old would compose. Oh! And when you think about it in the context of where AI is right now, uh, it might be entirely on track for, for that <laughs> amount of development. <laughs> Yes, I swear it's Christmas. But that's a line from the song. I, 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 okay, maybe, maybe. And 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 that's the other thing is, were they, were they having it write the song in in English, or is this <laughs> something that's been translated from another language? I think from English because this came from Toronto. And I mean, it's Canada, so it's either French or English. But there was no indication in the paper I read that uh, it was this is not the first language that it was taught to speak in at all. Um, I think a lot of it is still learning. I mean, you're 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 going to piece up different parts of things that you've learned together, and it's not going to make sense for a while until you develop that. And I think it's. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe it is on track. Maybe this is a third, a three-year-old's level of comprehension of how word structure or uh, how how people like to enjoy things or perceive things. It's not there yet. So don't worry, everyone who is a songwriter. The robots aren't coming to take your jobs, at least for now. Um, not so much more than the three-year-olds are coming to take your jobs. Eventually they will. Audience. Do you like the song? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.